I'm Lorena Villanueva with Glidefast Consulting. In this video, we're taking a look at UI policies. We'll explain what UI policies are in relation to your form display, the benefits of UI policies, as well as go through a quick tutorial on how to create one. To kick things off, what is a UI policy? UI policy in ServiceNow allows you to change and modify how fields on a form are displayed. With the use of conditions, you can set your field to be hidden, make them mandatory, or set them to read only. Before we jump into creating a UI policy, let's go ahead and take a look at our incident form. Suppose I've been given a set of requirements that are dependent on our category field being set to software. The first requirement is to set the service field to mandatory. The second is to make the configuration item field read only. And lastly, we are to hide the contact type field. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can meet those requirements with a UI policy. Looking at our new record form, we'll go ahead and populate the necessary information. This UI policy will be applied to the incident table. We'll go ahead and populate the short description. For when to apply, we'll go ahead and set the condition where category is software. And we'll go ahead and leave everything else to their default settings and we'll submit. Now that we've applied conditions to our UI policy, the next step is to make those field changes. To do so, we'll create new UI policy actions that can be found in the related list of our UI policy. We'll go ahead and create a new record. And for field name, we'll go ahead and make this for the service field. So we've selected service and we'll make this mandatory true and submit this record. So at a glance, we're looking at a UI policy with the condition category is software. The field change that we want to make is the service field, and we want to make that true. To confirm that this has taken place, we'll go ahead and make a test run. To confirm that this has taken place, we'll go ahead and test this out by reloading our form. As you can see, now that the category is set to software, the service field is now set to mandatory. If I change this field, the service field is no longer set to mandatory. We'll go ahead and make the other field changes by creating new UI policy actions. Now that we've created our three UI policy actions, which sets those field changes, we'll go ahead and make a test. We've refreshed our incident form. And as we can see, category is software and our service field is now set to mandatory. Our configuration item field is set to read only and our contact type field is now hidden. So when we change this category, we see that they've all been reversed back to their original settings. So service is now no longer mandatory and so on and so forth. So we've created our UI policy with the related UI policy actions to make those field changes. Some may wonder, couldn't we have done this with a client script? Well, we could have, but some of the benefits of using a UI policy in lieu of a client script include the use of the order field, which you can see in the advanced view. It's defaulted to 100, but if you have multiple UI policies, the order field will allow you to control the order of which your policies take place. The next benefit is, of course, low to no code. If you have simple logic occurring on your form, UI policies allow you that option to build your conditions without having to code. 
And for situations where you do need that added flexibility, you are provided the option of run scripts where you can go ahead and execute different scripts depending on if they are true or false. So as a review, we went over a couple of benefits of UI policies and when to use. We also created a UI policy where we built conditions that allowed us to make fields on the incident mandatory, read only, and make fields hidden. This concludes our UI policy tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe for more ServiceNow related content. And from all of us at GlideFast Consulting, thanks for watching.